Here in this would-be controversial video which many of you will disagree and many of you would agree as well as I can foresee since I'm like an elder seer yeah we will showcase the 10 most powerful Primarchs that is in terms of battle prowess not backstage strategy or inventions we will take a look at the best of the best when push comes to shove and physical fight is involved criteria for this would be speed, agility, brute strength mastery of fighting styles, weapons and just plain instinct for battle. And if you're productive and not just a whining little biatch, you would just enter your own list in the comments. The best replies would be posted in the community section. So enough with the chatter, now let's get into it. At number 10 we have Rogel Dawn, known as the Vigilant, the Praetorian of Terror and the Unyielding One. He is hailed as one of the greatest heroes embodying an unwavering loyalty and idealism towards the Emperor's vision for humanity. Rogel Dawn possesses a physical presence that commands respect. His immense strength, endurance and combat prowess make him a formidable opponent on the battlefield. He is a master of defensive warfare and fortifications overseeing the construction of formidable defenses of the Imperial Palace, but he can fight as well. His skill and discipline in various forms of combat and warfare are unmatched, making him a formidable adversary. In battle, Rogel Dawn wields powerful weapons that reflect his stature and significance. His colossal chainsaw, the Storm's Teeth, is a formidable weapon capable of tearing through any material. He also carries the Sword of Sebastus, a plain yet unbreakable blade fashioned from high-quality adamantium. Additionally, he possesses the Voice of Terror, an ornate tactical bolter gifted to him by the Legio Custodes. He is the only loyalist Primarch that is known by fact to have killed one of his traitor brothers in combat, Alpharius being the one. Number 9. Magnus the Red As a demon prince of Zinj, Magnus is a master of telekinesis, telepathy and reality warping. His power allows him to manipulate matter, control the elements, create illusions and even bend the fabric of time and space. He has a genius level intellect, excelling in various fields and has access to Zinj's vast pool of knowledge. Armed with powerful weapons like the Horn Raymond armor, the Blade of Anunurta and the Sci-Fi Serpenta, Magnus is a formidable opponent. His powers extend to non-physical realms as well, allowing him to interact and manipulate souls, concepts and higher dimensional existences. Magnus is one of the most powerful psychers in Warhammer 40k universe. His psychic abilities grant him an array of offensive and defensive powers. He excels in telekinesis, like I said earlier, capable of ripping apart enemies, vehicles and even titans with ease. He has battled but lost to Lehman Rust before becoming corrupted by chaos and more recently he has dominated the fight against Gilliman and almost killed him. Only for the G-Man to be saved by the nullifying effects of the anti-psychers, the Sisters of Silence. Number 8. Angron Primarch of the World Eaters, he is a savage and brutal warrior whose strength and combat prowess are among the highest among the Primarchs. Enhanced by the surgical implants known as the Butcher's Nails, he possesses godlike rage and brutality. He has heightened senses and exceptional combat skills. Angron's ferocity and power make him a formidable opponent on the battlefield. As a demon prince of corn, he has ascended to a higher level of power and wields weapons infused with warp energy. His status as a demon prince grants him immortality, resistance to various forms of manipulation and access to immense demonic power. Angron's battle capabilities have made him a significant threat to the Imperium, wreaking havoc and leading armies in the name of Khorne. However, his unyielding rage and dependence on the Butcher's Nails hamper his intelligence and ability to reason, making him a relentless but unpredictable force in combat. He has defeated Gilliman in battle and even fought Lehman Russ only to be led into a kill zone which might have been Lehman and Russ's victory, but even as a demon prince, he has been defeated by a recently awakened Lion L. Johnson. Number 7. Conrad Kurz The Night Haunter, the Primarch of the Night Lord's Legion. He is a fearsome and brutal warrior known for his mastery of terror tactics and his pursuit for justice through violence. He is an exceptional close quarters combatant and one of the deadliest Primarchs. Conrad's powers include telekinesis, telepathy, matter manipulation and limited future vision. Precognition allowing him to analyze and manipulate his surroundings with great precision. In battle, Conrad has demonstrated his strength by facing other Primarchs, seriously injuring Rogel Dawn at one point of time and even defeating the Lion on one occasion. But the next couple of times he wasn't able to live up to the challenge of the Dark Angel. His weakness is his descent into madness and his belief in the unchangeable nature of the future and can sometimes cloud his judgment. 
equipped with his Nightmare Mantle, Mercy and Forgiveness Lightning Claws, and Widowmaker Daggers, Conrad Curse is a formidable force on the battlefield and master of psychological warfare. Well, until he was killed by the assassin, Mshen. Number 6. Vulcan Primarch of the Salamander Space Marines and the physically most powerful of the Primarchs owing to his size and genetics, he possesses godlike strength and durability making him a formidable force in combat. Vulcan is also a master of various weapons and martial arts, excelling in close quarters combat especially with a war hammer. Equipped with powerful weapons like the Warhammer's Dawnbringer, the Furnace Heart and Odracule, Vulcan is a force to be reckoned with even by Primarch standards. He is a beast. Although he essentially is a smith and not a warrior at heart, his level of battle prowess shouldn't have put him on this list but for one reason, another ability that multiplies his deadliness and that is his perpetual nature. He is immortal and cannot be killed. His ultimate weakness though is the substance known as Fulbright which can delay his resurrection but then he has shown resilience even when faced with gruesome deaths. Repeated deaths however did and have caused a detrimental effect on his mental state making him go batshit crazy and even the likes of Conrad Curse cannot stop him but were pummeled into oblivion. Number 5. Fulgrim As the Primarch of the Emperor's Children Traitor Legion, he is an immensely powerful being with a range of abilities and strengths and someone who strives for perfection. In his heresy era form, Fulgrim possesses near unstoppable swordsmanship, cutting enemies left and right with the Blade of Lair. He also has an enhanced healing factor even compared to his other brother Primarchs. He is a master of various weapons and martial arts, excelling in close quarters combat especially with a sword. With this he was able to defeat and kill Ferris Manus, another Primarch, the gene sire of the Iron Hands. As a demon prince of Slanesh, Fulgrim's power increased even further in which he gained additional abilities such as mind manipulation, soul manipulation and conceptual manipulation. His aura is overwhelming and his presence influences those around him, corrupting them to the arms of Slanesh. Fulgrim is capable of inflicting tremendous damage and effortlessly defeated Rubudi Gilliman, the Primarch of the Ultramarines in combat. Number 4. Lehman Russ Also known as the Wolf King and the Great Wolf, he is the missing Primarch of the Space Wolves chapter of Space Marines. Russ is an exceptional close quarters fighter and a master of various weapons, of which he usually prefers frost blades and axes. He has the ability to unleash powerful psychic shouts or screams that can counter warp abilities and psychers. He also has a spiritual connection to the warp and the ability to commune with warp entities and demons. Well, that is kind of heresy. In battle, Russ wields various powerful weapons including the legendary Gungnir, also known as the Spear of Russ, a golden spear containing a shot of the Emperor's psychic essence. It never misses its target and always returns to Russ's hands. Lehman Russ seems to be the go-to guy to hunt down renegade or traitor Primarchs. He has fought and defeated Magnus in Prospero. He has also fought Angron, drawing him into a kill zone via feigning a retreat while knowing every move of his brother and he, you know, he basically defeated Angron but he didn't show it. And also he had fought Horus, nearly killing him except that he never landed the killing blow out of mercy for his brother, therefore giving Horus the upper hand later in the fight. Number 3. Lion L. Johnson He is the Primarch of the Dark Angels Legion, now the Dark Angels Space Marine Chapter. Lion L. Johnson was found on the world of Caliban, a feral and medieval-like planet by the Emperor himself. The Lion possessed exceptional martial prowess and strategic brilliance even as a child. The Lion led his legion with precision and ruthlessness, earning a reputation as a formidable strategist and a relentless warrior. He was known for his stoic and aloof nature, often keeping his true thoughts hidden from those around him, just keeping it to himself like an introvert. He was both feared and respected by his brothers as well as his enemies. The lion has the ability to channel force and psychic energy into his weapons, making them incredibly potent. This power allows him to strike and explode greater demons as well, also formidable entities from the Chaos Realm. He can now, as of the 42nd millennium, he can now teleport across vast distances by his forest walk technique and also he holds the Emperor's shield and the sword fealty as his weapons. The Lion has defeated Conrad Curse on a couple of occasions in the past. He has defeated Angron in the recent Arcs of Omen storyline and even beat Lehman Russ in a, uh, let's say, a friendly duel. So safe to say he is high up on this list. Number 2. Sanguinius 
The Primarch of the Blood Angels is feared by all of his brethren. He is the ultimate Primarch in terms of fighting abilities. He is a peerless warrior and a duelist that wields the blade and carmine along with the spear of Telesto. Like Kurz, he possessed the ability of precognition. This gives him glimpses of future events. This precognitive ability enhanced his tactical prowess and enabled him to adapt to changing circumstances on the battlefield. He was also good at psychically shielding himself and his allies from psychic attacks. Sanguinius had magnificent angelic wings that served a practical purpose in combat allowing him to swiftly maneuver across the battlefield and gain advantageous positions. His aerial mobility gives him an edge in both offense and defense. He has defeated a fully armored Kurs while only wearing a bathrobe. He has defeated many greater demons and when succumbing to the Red Thurs, his powers would be enhanced multiple fold. But in doing so, he would lose himself in the process, which has led to some theories that he was the one that killed Horus and the Emperor, well, putting the Emperor in his current state as a corpse emperor. But that's not confirmed, that's just a theory. And number one, of course, Horus Lupercal. Also known as the War Master Horus, he was the Primarch of the Lunar Wolves, later renamed as the Sons of Horus. He was created by the Emperor of Mankind and genetically engineered to be superior in every way. Prior to the heresy, Horus was acknowledged as a skilled fighter, although not necessarily on par with Primarchs like the Lion or Sanguinius. For example, during the early part of the heresy, Lehman Ross was able to fight him on equal terms and even nearly had him defeated but was merciful and couldn't kill his brother. However, as the conflict progressed, the war, Horus' power grew exponentially due to his alignment with chaos and the infusion of dark energies. By the culmination of the heresy, Horus had reached a level of power that he was able to challenge even the Emperor himself. In a pivotal battle, Horus managed to gravely wound the Emperor and ultimately kill the Primarch Sanguinius. This showcased his dominance over all other Primarchs in power after becoming a champion for all the Runa's powers, therefore sealing his place as the most powerful, who could only be killed by the Emperor himself. So those are the 10 most powerful Primarchs that is in fighting prowess rankings. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe to push us through the algorithm of YouTube. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates and new videos right here on this channel. Take care, boys.